Welcome to the Funny Animals Zoo. This is taken care of by a gorilla. He checks the giraffes, <coughs> deers, the hippopotamuses, the mighty lion, and the reindeers. He then sees that few farm animals have paid a visit there. He quickly walks to them. You guys are not allowed in here. Go back. The farm animals are very disappointed. He closed the gates and went to do his work. The rabbit sees that the gorilla isn't monitoring and signals the animals that they can go in. The animals went in rapidly before the gorilla noticed. He was shocked to see the gate open which he just closed. All the animals went into hiding in the zoo. Meanwhile, the gorilla knows that something is fishy, so he goes to check the zoo. The gorilla was looking everywhere in the giraffe's zoo, while the rabbit was chilling on the top of the giraffe's head. But just then the gorilla what? spots the rabbit. <gasps> he asks the giraffes to get down. The rabbit leaves the giraffe. I told you not to come here. Leave quickly. He goes to the hippos and looks around to see if anything is fishy. Just then the sheep emerges from the water. Get lost from here. He then goes to the reindeer place. He didn't find any, but he certainly has attacked. He behaves as if he left the place, and then the pig came out. He was being joyful about Gorilla's departure. He pokes and gives the pig a reality check. What? I will sue you, muddy creature, if you haven't left from here. He then goes to the elephant and sees the goat chilling on top. It will be really worse if you will not leave this place. Refused. <laughs> Therefore Mr. Gorilla knocks the whole wooden compartment. Mr. Gorilla went to the deers and couldn't find any animal there. The cow laughs in victory since the gorilla hasn't caught him yet. Little does he know that he's in the lion's den, what? and he has his eyes upon the cow. Oh no! The cow and the lion are having a run and catch game. What? While the lion takes a serious jump to get the cow. Oh, Gorilla no. sees this, and quickly goes for rescue. He opens the gate, while the cow escapes and locks before the lion could do too. The animals will never even visit the zoo premises ever again. The cow is here for some grazing. It is her daily activity. Heavy jumps did not work out, so he took out the cow on a fierce run. He 
forcefully meathead the cow. And the poor one went rolling in the air and fell into a red pond. She ended up looking red as a result. She again ended up standing in front of the bison. And he was triggered again and ran to knock the cow out. What? The cow is quite brilliant so he moved immediately. And the bison ran into a tree and hurt it himself. had the cow successfully. An isolated fairy tale coated farmland. But this belongs to a greedy farmer and his subordinate gorilla. Enough of grazing and relaxing. Form a line and get in. The farmer demands you all to be present. The cows got in one by one and at last an innocent calf. The cows waited patiently. Soon the farmer had come and asked a cow to accompany him. The cows expected it. Soon the cow got out with her energy completely drained. The greedy farmer extracted four buckets of milk from the cow. It's time for another cow. All the cows backed away except for one cow. Meanwhile, the silly calf ran towards the milk buckets and wasted them all into the ground. And returned back while the farmer was busy dragging the cow. He received a minor cardiac arrest seeing what the calf has done. What? Hey! Come here! Someone among the cows has wasted the precious milk of all four buckets. Keep a check on those idiots. All right, master. The gorilla returned back to what? see no cow being present there. Where are you rascals? The cows are clearly stuck oh, by no. fear. The gorilla spotted them and all of them had to assemble. No over intelligence. I think we should dig an underground tunnel and bravely escape. 
the cows had worked hard and finally their path was arranged. While the gorilla was in deep sleep all the cows began escaping through the tunnel into the greens far away from the cattle jail. They see the farmer and gorilla go inside the cattle house. They could only see the calf in a huge tunnel behind him. What? The farmer went mad. I'm really sorry. Please call all my baby cows back. How do I believe you? You have been unkind and used us for years. Well, I'm apologizing now. I'll never repeat. I need you guys so much. The cow is convinced. Guys, come back in. The farmer wants to apologize. All cows were convinced and soon walked back to the cattle house. I apologize to all my cow babies for treating them unkind all these days. I need you cows. I hope you all will support me. So dog, what happened to me? You are just having indigestion. Take this tablets after every 3 meals and get a good night's sleep. His patient left peacefully, so now we'll proceed to check how other animals are doing. He saw that the elephant was doing well. But the cow certainly isn't. The cow began shouting, so he ran to her. Aren't you all right? Let's check again. The cow showed symptoms of illness. So the doctor just injected the medicine for cure. He then proceeded to another patient and saw the tiger feeling uneasy. Oh, your hand was attacked. Let me cure you. The doctor has tied the bandages to the tiger and left him to rest for a while. After a while the elephant began screaming. So the doctor went there. Hey lovely being, what's bothering you? I will cure you. There's a nail stuck under my feet. Can you please remove it? The doctor went ahead and removed the nail. That's the painful part. He fixed the bandages under the feet to prevent bleeding and infection. The animals were happily cured. There comes a bison to the hospital. He was very exhausted and right after entering the hospital he collapsed. Oh no! The doctor had rushed there immediately. He asked for the gorilla's help. He fainted. I think he's not consuming any food or water for days. So take him on the cart and place him on the bed and arrange food for him. The doctor has checked upon him. And as time went by, the bison began doing well. Food is so important for survival. You can't avoid it. The farmer and the cow are returning back home. The farmer was driving and obviously the cow is loving being the passenger princess. 
As soon as the two buddies returned back home, they went into the home. As the farmer sat on his couch while sipping tea, the cow decided on jamming to music. Soon the farmer joined the cow and they both danced to the music beats. The volume was too loud but they don't care since they are occupied by the moment. Meanwhile the sheep woke up due to the noise. What? The goat was going mad due to the noise and even the rabbit. They realize that the farmer and cow are responsible for the noise and think of a plan. I'm going to ring the bell and soon we are going to escape from here. All the animals agreed and the sheep did as said. They all escaped. As soon as the cow opened the doors, there was no one outside. The sheep absolutely loved disturbing them. Now the goat had come to ring the bell and all of them escaped soon. The cow opened the doors and saw no one. What? He felt something might be fishy. The sheep had come and rung the bell again. However, they were good at escaping. The cow stopped the music and opened the doors. He sees no one but gets back to the music anyways. Which irritates the animals. Let's just stop the music machine. The sheep and goat had stood outside the window what? with a stone to damage the machine. The sheep tried alerting the farmer, but he's so dumb that he can't guess the gestures. Soon the sheep threw the stone and the device stopped playing. The cow and the farmer lay depressed due to no music to romanticize their life. Meanwhile, the pig has come to steal the music system. He stole the machine and passed it on. Later on, he passed the speaker to the sheep. Then again, the other one. The cow and farmer might continue to rot in the house while all the farm animals party in their space. Pleasant day for the horses at the farm there. And here's the caretaker. And it looks like he will ruin the day for them. He's going to transport loads till some destination. And he made four horses line up for it. They started going. The horses were able to go patiently until some distance. They have come across the slope and managed to climb half of the slope. The horses felt very exhausted climbing the remaining slope. They successfully arrived at the destination and got rid of the load. Never have I ever felt this exhausted. We need to get rid of this man. We have to escape him or we may die due to the workload. All the horses agreed to the saying of one horse and planned to escape the farm. They successfully got rid of the caretaker. 
He was shocked to see an empty farm. Oh, look at these unfaithful horses. They could not even take load. And they are so useless. I should get a few cows. They will blindly follow me and be so unproblematic. Let's quickly get them. Soon the caretaker brought a few cows to the farm. He now arranged a cart to transport the load again. The cows are perfectly dragging the cart until the slope comes. The cows started to feel exhausted trying to climb all up. But the cow somehow managed and succeeded to reach the destination. Then they got rid of the load. The cows are extremely exhausted and provided no water by the caretaker. This is absolutely cruel. We were close to death. And we still managed to bring him the load here. That sick fella did not provide us water yet and he was hitting us back there. I think it's time to fix him now. Here the caretaker comes to trouble the cows again. And the cows will not tolerate him. They all surround him while swaying their horns. And the caretaker looks terrified. The cows begin eating him to one another. This continued until he was finally thrown away. Lesson taught. The ducks are spending some peaceful time at the lake. Meanwhile, the crocodile walks from the bushes and sees the ducks. Now he knows what to do. Oh, yeah! He sneakily enters the water. The ducks were having a good swim, just when the crocodile took a quick jump and got the duck. With a quick reflex, the ducks escaped the attack. The crocodile started chasing the ducks, swimming and even ran after them when they got to the land. One duck wasn't able to run quickly. The crocodile took a quick jump and gulped the duck. The other two ducks were terrified of their pal's loss. What? The crocodile began chasing them again. A duck had successfully tricked the crocodile while he took a jump and ended up sliding between the two trees and hurt his back. The chase began again. A snake might soon join. Meanwhile, the duck fears he is going to be dead, realizing what? he is too near to the crocodile. Oh, no! The crocodile took a quick jump and gulped the duck again. Now the only duck has to escape the claws of the crocodile. While the crocodile chases and sets out to attack. The snake appears. It is going to be a face-off as the duck watched. 
not much harm for the first few minutes. But the snake decides to wrap around the crocodile's stomach. The snake successfully harmed the crocodile, but little does the duck know about the food chain. Another crisis struck him as the snake began chasing the duck. It was a pleasant small town where farms were raised. There lived a beautiful cow who was insecure about herself and wanted to get big like other cows. She wants some food. The more healthy she eats, the more healthy milk she produces. Meanwhile, here's the scientist pig that has experimented with a watermelon and left. The watermelon has grown overnight. The cow decided to go grazing. The cow has slid into a pleasant sleep. But a strange thing has occurred. The cow started to uncontrollably grow giant. The town felt an earthquake because of the cow. Three animals gathered to check the cow and they were truly shocked. Meanwhile, the cow was stuck in the narrow house and began crying for help. I think he must have eaten the giant watermelon, which in turn made him grow like this. Quickly go and get bunch of grass and feed him. I'll have to go and find the antidote to this. The calf and the sheep got three bunches. And the cat failed to feed him in the first try. Later on he thought of an idea. He got a rock and aimed at the housetop and threw. The house received a hole through which the cow brought its face for eating purpose. Now the cow is successfully being feeded. Oh yeah! Meanwhile, the pig is trying to find an antidote to cure the cow. The pig got the antidote and now the aim is to feed that watermelon to the cow. The calf successfully threw the watermelon and the cow successfully ate. And within a fraction of second, he returned back to the normal state. The animals felt relieved. Welcome to the animal school. Congratulations to Gorilla for being the best student to top the class once again. You all need to learn from him. Fox is jealous. 
Mr. Gorilla is giving me a hard time again. He is damaging my reputation. It's the chemistry class. And Mr. Bear is teaching them. All the student animals are hearing to him attentively. Hear you all. This chemical is a really dangerous component. If it leaks, then we are going to fall into a major trouble. That's why we preserved it safely. Remember not to touch this at any cost. You all are prohibited from touching this. The students obediently agreed. Attention everyone. I'm going to pour this chemical into a volcano. Here's the miniature volcanic eruption for you all. Now you all can get back to work. I'm done completing my experiment, sir. The fox is burning in jealousy. I can't bear this anymore. I will be landing everyone in trouble now. Time to create some chaos. The foxy's sight fell upon the dangerous chemical. He quickly grabbed the chemical and poured it into the volcano. As expected, the trouble had landed. The what? volcano began erupting dangerously. The animals began running right away. The whole town got sunk under the lava. Animals were taking shelter at the monkey's place. Help me out! I'm burning! The gorilla soon came there with a raft and placed all the animals safely. I'll be taking them to nearby island. Alright! I'll save the missing animals and get there soon. The gorilla began sailing, and soon another raft came for the monkey. He was sailing and found the fox and wolf on a tree screaming for help. Monkey successfully saved them, and began sailing to the nearby island. Thanks a lot for saving everyone, Gorilla. Now we need to throw some ice into the volcano to stop the eruption really quick. Okay, sir. Let's prevent more damage and save the town. Soon ice is gathered and the fox and gorilla forcefully threw ice into the volcano and the eruption successfully stopped. And the town is back to normal. And the animals are celebrating. I'm really sorry, Gorilla. I'm the one caused this out of jealousy. It's okay, Foxy. You've learned your lesson. Indeed. <laughs>